Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Gavin here from Starfresh Personal Training. Just a pretty short video for you guys today. Um, and this is uh, this video was sort of inspired by a conversation I had with somebody um, about uh, about carbs and sugar and all that sort of thing, right? Um, and you know, yeah, uh, sugar makes you fat, carbs make you fat, blah blah blah. And the 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 theme of it was, oh, I cut out all my carbs and I cut out bread and I lost weight. Um, and I cut out chocolate and I lost weight and I cut out whatever it was and lost weight, okay? And what I said to them was, well, you didn't lose weight because you cut out the carbs and the chocolate. You cut, you lost weight because you reduced your calories. And they're like, nah, nah, it's because I cut out the bread, carbs make you fat. And end of the day, I wasn't there to argue. I just, all right, fair enough, that's, that's a belief you have. And that is a belief that lots of people have, okay? It's around about uh, these things make you fat. Guys, I'm telling you now, carbohydrates and sugar doesn't make you fat. Too much of that food makes you fat. You can pretty much, and I guarantee you, that you could live on chocolate and lose weight, providing that you didn't go over uh, your calorie um, expenditure for the day, right? So you could eat... Say your, um, I've talked about this before, your basic metabolic rate um, is about 2,000 calories and you ate 1,000 calories of chocolate every day, you will lose weight. No doubt about it because it's a simple energy balance. You know, if you, your, your body is, is like a tank and if, if you fill the tank up, it'll overflow. If you, you know, and it's just the same sort of thing. If you put on, if you eat too much, you put weight on, our body stores excess energy. And when you overeat, the excess energy that you overeat will get stored as fat. Sure, you know, there's optimal ways to do it where you, you know, you're cutting out slightly reducing carbs and if you're training and all those other products, I'm not taking that away, but for the general population who want to lose some kilos, if you have lost weight by reducing carbs and cutting out sugar, the only thing you've done is cut out calories from your diet. And it only takes like two to 300 calories, if even that, not even that much, to start losing weight and what happens is when you start losing you know losing the weight okay you you attribute your weight loss to the one thing that you took out your diet now what i'm saying to you is that you can enjoy all the foods that you want you can enjoy alcohol you can enjoy chocolate and white bread if that's what you want but as long as you don't exceed your calories now i'm not here promoting chocolate and bad food because the the calorie you know those those foods have got no um, no nutrients in them, which means that, as I spoke about before, rebound hunger. You're going to eat more because you're not getting the nutrients. And you know, if you're eating white bread and chocolate, you're not getting any vitamins. You're not getting any minerals. You're not getting any fiber. Okay, so I'm not saying that there's is um, you know there's other health benefits. What I'm saying to you is that if if weight loss is your goal, you can still enjoy the foods that you want. And it doesn't have to be you know cut out the world to lose weight. Um, and you know, the, the, the fitness industry at the moment and the diet industry will all feed you bullshit of what you need to do to lose weight and this fad diet, cut this out, cut that out. But every single um, program out there, every single um, diet plan or fitness equipment, they all focus on creating a calorie deficit. And a calorie deficit is simply less calories than you take in. And, you know, when people say, you know, lose uh, this much weight in X amount of time and rapid results, something else, all they're doing is they're creating a massive gap. So if you were to cut out fifth, like a thousand calories from your diet on a daily basis, you're going to lose weight really, really quickly. But it isn't sustainable, okay? That's what I'm saying to you. You know, we want, uh, the, my approach is to give you strategies to make this sustainable. What is the point in losing 20 kilos to put 25 back on, which is 10, tends to what happens? Let's do it properly, lose your 20 kilos and leave it off forever. That's what you want to do. And you only do that through balance, you do it through moderation, and you do it through um, smart choices. It is nothing more to it than that. Um, you know, the whole bunch of things, you know, mindful eating and all those other stuff. Um, and, and yes, when we're eating, we want to be having um, a vast, um, you know, a vast variety of foods from different food groups to give you all the vitamins and minerals and, you know, everything that you need. You need fats, you need carbs, you need proteins. Um, you know, and if you start cutting out food groups and stuff, it's just going to waste your time um, you know, and there's no point. So take it from this, guys. 
let go of your bloody beliefs, okay? Let go of, oh, if I cut that out, I'm going to be able to lose weight. And don't attribute that to your success. The fact of the matter is you've reduced your calories. Simple, simple as that. Guys, reduce your calories. You do that through a number of ways, through eating better, exercising, uh, moving more, all those things, okay? And it just you just need to do it, okay? It isn't, you shouldn't associate uh, losing weight with, uh, with, with being such a hard thing and um, a scarce thing. At the end of the day, you can do this stuff without really making too much of an impact on what you do every day, all right? It really, really doesn't need to be difficult. It doesn't need to be painful, torturous. You can actually do it to really, really smart choices, okay? Um, and that's what I do. Um, I, I, you know, I help my clients identify these things within their diet so they can lose, lose weight fat weight not muscle weight okay like i said it's very different weight than uh, fat weight and I've, i think I've, i'll do a video on that in the future but you know we focus on doing things properly and op optimally and you know less painful so that's pretty much it okay uh, let go of all uh, all the, the nonsense you see out there every day um and start thinking about it from logical you know a logical point of view sugar and carbs and fat do not make you fat too much food makes you fat all right, not gonna not gonna harp on. You get the message, I think. Um, anyway, if you think this video is useful, guys, give me a like and a share. Really appreciate it. Um, you know, if you can dispel these myths, um, you know, we're gonna you know be a lot happier in our little fat loss journeys that we're doing. All right, um, really really appreciate you get get this word out and, and just do it. Uh, like I say, guys, start afresh. Find something to do. Uh, find one thing to focus on and get done. Because uh, if you don't make a change today, how will tomorrow be any different? Cheers, guys.